Wait, are we in the same out realm as before? Quick, let's get out of here before that old dust. You're back. You really came back. I can't believe you came back. I mean, of course you came back, just as I devoted. Divined? Divine it dated? How about, listen? Oh, if only Beatrice were still here to see you take pity on her doddering old husband. She was a big supporter of charity, you know. She married me, after all. <laughs> How about enough? Just point us to your stolen on your cards and we'll be on our way. <clears throat> it, yes. Well, actually, I had a vision that we'd find the thief in three, two... Oh my, Hubba. Did you follow me all the way here? I do love a man with endurance. But there she is, right on schedule. The filthy, lying, exquisite beauty who stole my cards. Wait a minute. Isn't that... Oh ho! Does she look familiar? Even so, I can assure you this is not the woman you know. She comes from a different world than you or I. One already well on its way to ruin. Be warned, she's not to be underestimated, or trusted, or shown secret heirlooms. Especially not while I have all your big, strong Yainara to protect me, hubba. You never told me all your calling cards summon heroes from the past. You of all people know how much I love antiques, Bubbles. I told you, you don't get to call me that anymore. <sighs> See what she does? Honestly, I'd love to help you fight her if only I hadn't thrown my back out. Oh. <laughs> but hey, at least I have the Einhira you reclaimed for me last time. Now let's see. Come forth, my brave and comely heroines. Lend us your swords and shapely muscles. As you wish, I will strike down any wrongdoers. I'll show you what I can do with a blade. I hope we can end this with as little bloodshed as possible. For their sake. <laughs> Not bad, eh? Eh? Oh, well then, good luck! I'm counting on you, my sweet prince. Of course, my lady. I am yours. Wait, Marth? Again? And he looks... different. Hmm, it's another reflection of the same man. Hmm, how can I explain this? Just as no two artists would paint him the same way, so too his cards differ. Even cards of the same person have different appearances and abilities. So, you knaves have come to kidnap Lady Aversa. I will not allow it. Leave it now, before any harm comes to you. You are mistaken, Prince Marth. We are not kidnappers, I assure you. We would never think of tying her up and making her beg for mercy. Hubba, weren't you the one saying Anhira can't be reasoned with? Enough of your lies. Draw your weapons and die with honor. Well, it was worth a try. Did my part. The rest is up to you and yours, Krom. Uh, yes, Hubba. Thanks so much for the assistance. Is it true you came from another world? That it is, milady. Your world must be so different from ours. Purple trees, swimming pegasi? Uh, perhaps not that different. Do you suppose there are lots of other worlds out there? I could not say for certain, but the likelihood does seem high. It sounds intriguing. I wonder if I'll ever get to see another world. Well, we can speak more of it later. But there won't be a layer, will there? The cards only give a fleeting identity to the soul. When they return to the cards, that identity is lost forever. Depending on how you look at it, that's actually quite sad. Um, hello there. Good day. You're one of the visitors, right? Do you need something? No. I was just trying to connect. We may have a long fight ahead. Well, that's very cordial of you. But together we'll make short work of these dullards. Oh. I certainly hope so, but I should warn you, I'm a little... Ah! Are you alright? That looked like it hurt. Yes, Ugh. I'm fine. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Good luck to you, milady. Did she just trip over thin air? That's impressive in its own right. 
Milady, I wanted to thank you for coming to our aid. I feel like we have a much better chance of winning now. It gladdens me to hear that, Milady. But don't let your guard down yet. The tides of battle have a way of changing suddenly. Thank you. I'll be careful. I can see you're quite cautious. I have watched my closest, strongest friends knocked from the sky like flies. Caution comes quick after that. Still, you're a sweet girl. Too sweet, some would say. I'm afraid I'm quite naive. But at least I'm blessed with friends that let me get away with it. Oh, I see. You still have your friends. Rubbing salt in my wounds, eh? What? No, that's not what I meant at all! Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sorry about that. I suppose I'm lucky my new friends are willing to put up with it. <laughs> that you are. This doesn't feel right. Are we really doing what's best for the kingdom? I can't believe you trust that vixen more than us! I suppose it falls on me to wake these boys from their chivalrous fantasy! And you call yourselves men? How could you let a vixen like that trick you? This sword shall always be the sword of the oppressed! I swear it again now! Throw down your weapon and surrender, and I may spare your life! I have to believe in our cause. I cannot let doubt weaken me. I'm not much of a fighter, but I have to do my part. You sure you want to do this? I'll teach you to harass a poor defenseless girl. For brigands, you're clearly capable. I'm going to enjoy this. I'm not strong enough, or stupid enough to hold back. Now come on! I show no mercy to cowards, who would kidnap an innocent maiden! I will defend this land at all costs. You're their tactician, right? Why are you causing trouble? We're not! It's that old Coot's fault we had to... <sighs> Never mind. So? You admit you started it. Good. My conscience is clear. <laughs> Why? I have to get stronger. Shave your weapon, knave! History shall not see me slain by some brigand! Ha! I like your confidence. But history shall not see me cowed by some braggart. Rebel by lily scum like this! It sickens me. Withdraw your forces and surrender. There's no honor in a brigand's fight. We are not brigands, sir. And there is honor in fighting for my comrades. And for him. I have shamed myself and my father. You there! I've had enough of your villainy! And? Ugh! Have to retreat! Regroup! In this battle, brigand! And leave this place forever! Right, because I really look like a brigand. You know. Saying dumb crap like that gives us redheads a bad name! They're too strong for me. It's up to you, Roy. Well, don't you look tough for a scrawny little kid. Surrender now, and the Vake might just take you under his wing. Why would I surrender, even if I had my doubts? More importantly, who in the world is the Vake? I should have believed harder. What do you want? Go jump in a lake or something. Do you even have lakes? I'm not going anywhere until I've taken you down, wench. Did you just call me a wench? Who even says wench anymore? Ugh! Gag me with a trebuchet. <laughs> you fight well. I hope we meet again. You sure you want to face me? If you would do me the honor, I can see you're quite strong. I do no honors, but if you come at me, you'll get the bruises you're looking for. So be it! Im- Impressive. Bluegoos? No, that's not possible. Stand down, or I'll strike you down. What? You have seen other shapeshifters like me. No matter. The look in your eyes says we are past pleasant conversation. I should have fought better. You know, you remind me of a certain someone in a not so subtle way. Beg pardon? Who are you? And, uh,. Could you not stand so close? Oh, don't be shy. Just hold still while I pull a few strings. If only I could do more. Well, well. Your new friends are quite something, Bubbles. Perhaps I'd best retreat for now. See you later. Wait, get back here!
See you later. <laughs> oh, Hubba. You still got it, you old sly... Uh, uh, I mean... <clears throat> she got away! <laughs> oh, fiddlesticks. Well, I suppose I soothseed this too. Soothsod, soothsod... I... Anyway, I've known this would happen ever since the first time I met her. She came to my house asking to be my apprentice. I was her master, she said. Then one morning I wake up and... She's gone, along with most of my Einhira. The cards were so well hidden, too, and a special place kept secret for generations. I Don't blame yourself. No doubt she used some dark art to divine the... I told her where they were. It was such a juicy secret! I thought she'd be impressed. And she was. Especially at the map I drew. I think my ancestors would understand my folly. Certainly Great Uncle Fondle would... But don't judge me lest ye be judged later. I see big lady troubles in your future. Given your record up to now, I'm not too worried. Why don't you use your crystal ball to tell us where Aversa fled with the other cards? Some other outrealm, I suppose. We'll catch her next time. I'm not so sure there'll be a next time. We really should be... Wait! I'm having another vision! Why? It's the future again, and you're all there. Again! You don't say. Yes! You defeated Aversa and found another family treasure she stole. This precious tome, it allows you to learn a special skill, and I'm giving it to you. Oh, you look so happy to have helped a tired, wrinkled, pitiful old man. <sighs> Fine. I'll consider it. Huzzah! <laughs> Thank you so much. Again, there's no rush. Time continuum and all that. Oh, and to help you out, here's one of the cards you saved. The young lion Roy. Quite dashing, isn't he? I'll entrust him to your tactician. So the lady was deceiving us. I'm sorry I was so blind to it. Let me fight alongside you as recompense. My name is Roy. Have you heard of me? Good. That makes things easier but I don't know much about any worlds outside of my own. Perhaps you could tell me more? I have so many things I want to ask. What's your name? Robin, you say? It has an interesting ring to it. I suppose it must be commonplace in your world. So, what is your home like? When I was young, I studied abroad in a neighboring house. I've always been fascinated by other places and the people who inhabit them. Do you like your world, Robin? I knew it! I can see it in your eyes. It must be a wonderful place. Are there ships? Fruit? War? How do people make a living? Tell me everything. Thank you, Robin. Your world seems a fascinating place. You've convinced me I must visit someday. Perhaps you'll take me with you. Who knows? I might even find I enjoy your world as much as my own. Very well. You've convinced me.